Samuelson Says. Views and comments by Orion Samuelson. I don't know about you, but certainly if you are a pork producer, you share the growing frustration that I have over media use of the term swine flu when referring to H1N1 and the financial impact on pork producers across the country. I normally allow the Secretary of Agriculture to do Samuelson Says at the end of the year, but I'm going to change that policy this week because a few days ago in Illinois, the Secretary responded to a question from an FFA member. She said her family was in the pork industry who wanted to know about this ongoing frustration and the misinformation on H1N1. Well, the secretary is as frustrated as we are. It is so irritating when you read the paper or you watch on television and they continue to refer to it as swine flu because what they don't realize, what that good-looking, handsome, well coiffured talking head on the television doesn't understand is that there's a hard-working family whose livelihood depends on him or her getting it right. And they don't understand that we saw as much as a three-quarter of a billion dollar potential hit to the pork industry because other countries made the decision without science, without basis in science, of saying we don't want your pork products. We will share the entire response by the Secretary of Agriculture later on this week in agribusiness. But when he was asked the question at the very outset, he said, who do we blame? He pointed his finger toward the cameramen and the media people in the back of the room and said, they're the ones you need to talk to. And that's a good idea. So this week, I'm going to ask you, anytime you see, read, or hear reference to swine flu, fire off an email to the media people and say, in the interest of accuracy, call it H1N1. Let them hear from you. My thoughts on Samuelson Says.